spring has sprung the weather is amazing today honestly being an adult is hard work jokes apart i just feel so tired it just feels like i've been doing too much and my body's saying to me to rest i was just thinking does any one of you have songs that make you cry i do it's protector by beyonce on cowboy kata easier by candy Burris, and bye bye by mariah carey easier and bye bye is what the songs mean because i've lost people in my life i've lost my mom my dad my sister then protector by beyonce is just what the song means it just makes me cry okay i need to go home i just had a very weird experience i parked my car where i parked my car and there's four cars from the right where i parked so this car is the fourth car electric car i'm reversing out of the car park this car saw me that i'm already halfway out reversing turning on to the right this driver reversed as well this same car followed me this car was going to the same direction where i was driving to so we're driving somewhere where it says 70 and the car was still getting me so he wanted to overtake me where he's not supposed to overtake and he swung like swung badly and i saw from my mirror so i was like oh, maybe something happened the way he swung was really really bad because there's a car coming he's not supposed to do that so he noticed that the car was coming and like okay fine as soon as we got to a place where it says 50 the driver overtook me and sped like crazy i could see how this driver was laughing there was joy in the madness i don't understand what we derived from this so i'm like what is going on dangerous driving is crazy like you don't have to why do you want to prove that your car is fast what are you trying to prove to me <laughs> i don't care i don't really get excited about cars i love cars because it will take me from a to b that's what i love cars for the type of car you drive doesn't really do anything for me it will not make me respect you it will not make me see you differently because i don't go crazy about cars yeah i'm just really really surprised with the behavior at the end of the day i have a nice car it doesn't define who i am i'm not going to see someone and want to prove to them that my car is faster than theirs or my car is a new car i want to prove a point is the smile for me the way this individual laughed was so weird and creepy <laughs> i just said i should get this off my chest later see ya it's a brand new kind of day oh my goodness boy did i do too much yesterday i did too much yesterday i was trying to get hold of a friend of mine they haven't been picking up and all the text messages i sent they haven't checked i'm kind of worried i need to get in my early morning workout i am going to get some breakfast quickly then drive to the gym and do a quick maybe one hour or two hours workout and then come back and get to work i've mentioned this before I don't know what has been happening to me lately and this has been happening to me like almost like two weeks now where I wake up at 4 or 4.30 sometimes like 5.30 or I wake up at 6 that I normally wake up but then when it is a day where I'm not working and I want to just sleep in I just can't and I think I know the reason why now I really do know the reason why so I have to make sure that 30 minutes or one hour before I go to bed I don't check my phones I don't look at a computer this is what I think is the cause of this I will try this and maybe I will try to join my partner in meditation I've tried it once twice and it works and I think meditation is something that is really really good to take part in so maybe I will try to start doing a lot of mindfulness as well I woke up this morning early as well I wasn't really thinking about anything I wasn't worried about anything but here we are my dreams are all always opposite of what I dream of so if I dream that someone did something nice for me in my dream it's just going to not happen my dreams never ever manifest they don't happen when I was at university I had so many dreams where I failed an exam and I never ever failed those papers anytime I dream that I failed I always passed so I had this particular dream a few days ago and I think I chatted to someone about it my mom mom's late sister in my dream she was in a cab something that looks like a cab and i was there and then she gave me money to do something for her in that dream so i took the money and then she was asking me of my sexuality and the things that was said is it through the way she was coming to me about it felt to me like she was okay with who i am i haven't
hadn't dreamt about this woman in years and she's passed away for a very long time that dream it was just a strange one i can't read anything when it comes to a dream and i just can't explain this but it just felt bizarre that it's happened maybe i was thinking about family subconscious when i got up it felt really really calming for me that's why it felt like maybe she's just okay with who i am and depending on what you believe maybe she was just trying to say to me it is okay my child it is okay you are okay the way you are and we love you maybe that's what it is i don't know anyway i just need to get going i had a really really fantastic workout it was good and quick the weather sometimes really really gets on my nerves if it wants to rain just rain then this nonsense non-stop drizzling that doesn't make any sense anyway i'm just going to go do what needs to be done is it only me there's a lot of people who just live in their own bubble and forget that people have different level of struggles and the things that they face and it just feels like most people they these days not most people just some people just lack compassion and empathy people are just so individualistic sometimes that they just don't really consider how the others live i went to somewhere a restaurant this was like months and months ago this particular man was being served by the waitress and he was just a dickhead he was just disrespectful you know some of those people when you see waiters or waitresses serving them or people are attending to them they don't even try to make eye contact they don't want to say hi or say thank you even if you are paying thousands and thousands of pounds or dollars or euros whatever your currency or naira if someone is serving you that person is not your servant they chose to be there they are doing a job is a service you have to at least acknowledge them and say thank you to them when they come to the table there are people who are just literally extremely rude if you're going to treat someone that is being of service to you that way i wonder what you do to people who work for you maybe in your house in closed doors these are the types of people who will be like i'm older than you that means you have to respect me no matter what you have to abide by my rules and regulations and it doesn't matter you just have to respect me because i said so and because i'm older than you being older than somebody or being an older citizen doesn't guarantee you respect respect is something that you don't demand you earn it because i've been around people that are a lot older and they are disrespectful as F and they just feel like you should respect them i have nephews and nieces and i have a lot of younger friends in my life just because of i'm older than you doesn't mean you have to respect me to the extent whereby i am just misbehaving and you won't tell me if i misbehave as a relative of yours as a friend as a cousin as an uncle as anyone in your life as a friend tell me please nobody's above correction just respect people practice what you preach if people practice what they preach the world world will be a better place anyway i'm just going to go and do what i need to do because i'm an adult i have to work so let's get to working let's get to work anywho i will see you later it's time for dinner i am hungry i got myself some bruschetta and watermelon and goat cheese let me just show it to you this is my dinner the bruschetta first after the bruschetta i will have the watermelon I'm so hungry. I've had a long day. This is so perfect for this time of the year. My partner is going to be back soon and we will just watch some TV, something on Netflix. Baby, what kind of juice are you making? Is it a smoothie? No. This is absolutely annoying. It's raining, raining, raining. Can you hear the sound? Can you hear the sound of the rain? Oh God. <laughs> I thought we were making smoothie. Mm -hmm. Baby, banana, papaya, apple, pear, apricots. This is so good. The taste of this juice sometimes when he makes it. Uh, yeah, it's true. Do I have to drink it? No, I have to drink it. It's good for me. It depends on how I feel. So I'm going to drink it. It is raining. I know it is spring. We want rainfall. Why is it this cold? Why is it so cold like it is winter? I don't like this weather. Anyway, good morning. I freaking hate this type of 
rain i dislike it it's just so uncomfortable look at my jacket water everywhere i had to run to my car anyway life of an adult we need to do what we need to do anyway let's go you know what i just realized i'm not very good at taking care of cars like taking care of my car and i need to be good at it like cleaning the car and all these things i have a lot of like the foot mat in my car needs to be cleaned and i've been saying that i want to wash the car and now it rains again i need to get myself a hoover like car hoover car vacuum cleaner to be able to like hoover the car inside of the car basically i need to do a better job of this honestly i don't like it like this i prefer me a good tropical rainfall anyway later why is it that some people love to move mad like literally madness what is the problem some people compliment you you look at the comment they are at the same time in this same comment insulting the crap out of you make it make sense i posted a video on tiktok this always happens like there's this video i posted on tiktok about how i was being asked to get married to a woman despite coming out as gay and there's like non-stop conversations that i've had with my relatives and i kept coming out to them all the time over and over and over again so i posted this video and someone left a comment where they said something like is because of you are an embarrassment to them that's why but i wish you the best something like this i'm paraphrasing here there's a lot of comments like this is not only on tiktok even on youtube sometimes what embarrassment i'm not embarrassing anybody i am true to myself i am living in my truth so what do you want me to do i'm not speaking for any gay man i'm speaking for myself i'm not going to go and get married to a woman just to please society just to do what people want me to do no that's not going to happen and i've made that clear always always anyway i just said i should get this off my chest because people can be so disrespectful and bizarre with the comments that they leave and things like this the thing is you're not going to get to me other things may worry me but your comments are not going to anyway good morning see you later good morning the weather is amazing okay this is interesting there's this nigerian blog called insta blog niger i posted a video on tiktok about how i was kind of like in an arranged marriage situation and this video now has been picked up and it's on insta blog niger and everyone is talking about me whatever and i went on live yesterday on tiktok it's just crazy some people that i know they've been writing me saying what's going on we saw you on insta blog niger yada 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 the number of hate comments i got on my post and i really really had a good time on my tiktok live yesterday and I'm going to do the same today again tonight I need to eat <laughs> see you later okay this is my breakfast bowl of fruits two boiled eggs hard boiled eggs and pancakes yeah I'm hungry I am ready I'm wearing this shirt from Vince the brand Vince it's from my partner and I'm wearing this denim pants relaxed fit wide leg denim pants from weekday the perfume that i wore today is one of my faves by redo or the afrique love love this perfume the bag that i'm carrying is my solely box bag from heliot emil this is me so good that's the bag i love this this material feels so so sumptuous it feels so good on the skin i'm just going to tilt the camera to show you the lower part of my office to show you the pants and the shoes the shoes is from prada prada monoliths and the white leg pants from weekday this is so cool come let's go i've just parked let's see what we can do i don't want to really shop let's see I am back. I said I wasn't going to spend money or shop. Yeah, I am. I ended up getting one of the perfumes that is on my wish list. My partner got this from Diptyk. It's geranium odorata. This is it. It's really cool. This smells amazing. It smells really, really good. Love it. They gave us samples. They gave us Aqua de Palma and under perfume from Hartane. This one is Passios. So these are the samples.
I have wanted this perfume forever. Bibliotic by Byredo. This is everything. So those are the things that I got. Good afternoon. I have to go and shower quickly. There is a football game that I want to watch. I have been on the computer editing a YouTube video. I'm charging my car. Just need to unplug that quickly after I finish watching the game. I was charging my car. I just came to pick my car up. The game that I watched this afternoon was the perfect result for us. So I need to go and pack my car and I need to get lunch. I am hungry. I was just there watching this football and I haven't eaten anything. I don't even know what to have for lunch. Always first at the finish line. 